Spreading love one cake at a time. Niam Niam brings you a chocolate explosion drip cake with a perfectly moist chocolate cake base, chocolate buttercream, and a chocolate ganache glaze topped with your favorite chocolates. This chocolate loaded cake is every chocolate lover's dream. Let's get started. First, you need a 400 gram bar of dark chocolate, and we're going to cut that up into small pieces. Next, we're going to add 200 milliliters of whipping cream to a pan and let it bubble away on the stove. Then we're going to pour that hot whipping cream onto our broken chocolate pieces and whisk away until it's all dissolved. And there we have our chocolate ganache. Next, we're going to get our chocolate sponge cake. We're going to cut it in half and on the first layer add our chocolate ganache. On our second layer, we're going to put some buttercream chocolate. Spread that all along the top and around the sides, completely covering our cake. Smooth it over if you wish, then add our chocolate ganache around the edges, creating a drip down effect and over the entire top. Smooth that over and time to add your favourite chocolates. Ferrero Rocher, Maltesers, Toblerone, even an Oreo cookie or two. Why not cut them in half? Absolutely delicious and super fast and super easy to make. Would not mind a slice of that. If you're artistic and creative and love chocolate, you have got to try this gorgeous chocolate faulty line cake. Oh my goodness. Start with your basic chocolate cake and we are going to layer it filled with buttercream icing. Using a food piping bag for ease to just pipe it on top of each layer. Keep going as much as you like. We're doing three layers. Using a spinning plate, we can just easily pipe on the rest of the buttercream icing around the outside and then use a flat knife or spatula to smooth it all over. Ready to decorate with your chocolate? We're using Merci chocolates and Maltesers. You can of course use any chocolate bars or pieces of chocolate that you like. Stick them on. Then add some more chocolate buttercream beneath and above and smooth it over. On top as well because we're going to decorate the top with, yes that's right, more chocolate buttercream. We are piping it on with a serrated edge nozzle to create a beautiful effect and adding a chocolate on top of each. And there you have it, fit for a queen or maybe a princess or a prince or even a king. Who knows, I think I'll just eat it all myself. absolutely love this cake. It's just bursting with colour and absolutely delicious. All you need is a basic chocolate cake. You can buy it ready made from the supermarket or even pre-bake it yourself. We're going to fill it with buttercream chocolate flavoured icing. Then we're going to layer it a few times and cover the entire cake with our buttercream icing. We can use a nice piece of plastic to smooth it down along the sides and on the top. Now we're going to melt some dark chocolate buttons and we're going to pour that onto, yes, you saw right, it's bubble wrap. A fantastic and creative way of making a really cool pattern that has been cut to size to fit around the outside of our cake. So once that's set, we wrap it all the way around and then it's time to carefully peel away the bubble wrap and we're left with a beautiful bubbly pattern on our chocolate. Some juicy strawberries a sprinkling of blueberries and some cherries, maybe even a few raspberries as well. We're going to fill the top of our cake with beautiful colours and some mint leaves for a touch of green. Look at that, absolutely delicious. And it's a work of art and it really was that easy. Cake, buttercream, bubble wrap and berries. Super simple, choco berylicious.
Doesn't a chocolate dessert scream comfort? All you need is a chocolate cake. Pre-baked earlier or bought ready-made from the store. We slice it up to make our layers. Now we're going to add chocolate buttercream. A generous serving of that spread over our cake. And the next layer goes on top. And repeat, and repeat. And now we're going to cover the entire outside of the cake with this delicious chocolate buttercream. Smoothing it over. Adding a few broken almonds around the edge. Now we're going to squeeze some Nutella through a piping bag all around the edge of our cake. Letting it drip down the sides on purpose. Now we're going to cover the entire top of our cake with Nutella. I hope you are Nutella crazy like I am. Smoothing it over, making a nice swirly pattern with a spoon and exaggerating those drips down the side. There's a reason for this, which you'll find out in a minute. We want it to look like it's dripping and overflowing. Now we're going to add our Nutella jar, coated in almonds and some Ferrero Rocher. Look at that. It's a work of art. Too good to eat. It literally looks like the Nutella is falling out of the jar in a Nutella waterfall. Oh, go on then, just a slice. Let's enter chocolate heaven. Delicious. Now, for our next recipe, we get the same chocolate cake, slicing it into layers. This time, in between each layer, we're going to add chocolate ganache. You can buy it ready-made again, or pre-make it yourself earlier. It's pretty simple, only requires a few ingredients. We're going to spread that over our cake, smoothing it out with a spatula and adding our next layer on top. And repeat. We're going to just smooth it around the outside. And finally, cover the top of our cake in chocolate ganache. So loads and loads of chocolate in both of these recipes, so I hope you like it. It takes a little bit of time to do this part, but it is worth it because it's going to be delicious when it's finished. Smoothing that over, we're adding our chocolate wafers all the way around the outside. They'll stick to the ganache and chocolate balls. You can use Maltesers if you like on the top of our cake. Look at that, slice to perfection. Yam Yam's chocolate crepe cake is a delicious cake made with layers of crepe and filled with whipped cream. All you need is 90 grams of sugar, 140 grams of cake flour, 20 grams of cocoa powder and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Add four eggs to that and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whisk it all up, adding 550 millilitres of milk to that and 30 grams of melted butter. Now we have our chocolate crepe mixture ready, we're going to add it to the frying pan. Lightly spray a frying pan with some oil and pour in some of your mixture. Evenly spreading it and let it cook away. Delicious. Now add 250 millilitres of whipping cream, one teaspoon of vanilla extract and 20 grams of icing sugar to a mixing bowl. Mix it together. We're adding in our icing sugar a little bit at a time until the mixture is nice and thick. Now laying out our first crepe on a plate, we're going to cover that in our whipping cream mixture. Spreading that out to cover the entire crepe. Maybe leave a little bit at the edges and we're going to layer it just like so. Crepe after crepe with whipping cream in between. Now we're just going to snip around the edges to take off any little straggling bits. Make it look a little bit neater. Or not, whatever takes your fancy. Now that goes in the refrigerator for three hours. Meanwhile, we're going to get our fruit and make cutouts for our decoration. 
using a very small cookie cutter, we're cutting out circle shapes from a mango and a dragon fruit. You can use any fruits you like. We've chosen these for their nice varying colours and textures. Now, when our cake is ready, we're going to just mark out sections along the top in the icing. And in each section, we're going to place our fruit, starting with raspberries. We'll cover that entire segment in raspberries. Now, let's move on to our dragon fruit. I love that white speckled effect against the red raspberries. Let's be generous with these. Adding grapes next, we've chosen red grapes. You could use green or black, even a mixture. Strawberries go on next, sliced neatly. A few blueberries. Now last but not least, we'll add our mango circles. A colorful array of fruits. Add some little flower decorations to that finishing touch makes it all worthwhile. And there we have it, a beautiful chocolate crepe cake covered in rainbow fruit. Which one's your favourite? I think I'll go for the grapes and a little bit of dragon fruit. Do you love chocolate cake? Well, you've got to check out this really cool pull me up chocolate cake decoration hack by Yum Yum. All you need is your basic chocolate cake. You can buy it from the store or pre-make it. Just slice it in half and fill it with buttercream icing. We're using chocolate buttercream icing, of course. Then we cover the top in buttercream icing. And even all the way around the side. Why not? Let's go all in. Of course, it doesn't have to be chocolate. It can be to your liking. Once that's smoothed over, we chill it. And now comes the fun part. Let's make the chocolate ganache using dark chocolate melted in hot whipped cream. Ooh, delicious. It's very easy to make chocolate ganache and it's gonna look so cool. After we've put our plastic sheet around our set cake, we can pour on the chocolate ganache. And that plastic sheet just keeps it all in place for now so we can add our sprinkles or whatever decoration you really want to add we're adding some gold powder too gently lift off the plastic sheet and let it drip down the sides oh my goodness that looks chocolicious can you believe how super easy it is to make a very professional looking cake you could even try this with mini chocolate cakes or cupcakes. That would be cool too. But just look at this. Almost too good to eat. Go on, I know you want to. Fancy something lovely and chocolatey? Do you like strawberries? Do you like cake? Wanna get creative? Come on then, let's do it. Melt some dark chocolate. Say abracadabra. Just kidding, melt it in the microwave and dip in your strawberries. Get some vanilla cake sliced up and layer it with buttercream icing. And then on top of that goes a layer of chocolate cake. Yes, that's right, there is your two-tone. Covered in chocolate buttercream icing this time and a layer of vanilla cake once again. Now time to coat in buttercream icing. Starting with vanilla, then chocolate, then vanilla. Or the other way around, really, it's up to you. Smooth it over. Ready to drizzle on your chocolate ganache. Drizzled on with a food piping bag on one half of the cake. Then turn your cake around. And guess what? We're going to use white chocolate ganache for the other half. Two-tone all the way with this one. We hope you like it sweet and chocolatey. And then just decorate with your chocolate dipped strawberries. 
sticking them onto the not quite set chocolate ganache all around the edge and now let's decorate the top with some buttercream icing, chocolate and vanilla and add some more strawberries and there you have it it really does look like it just stepped out of a magazine page doesn't it? slice it up and your strawberry dip two-tone cake is ready to serve and it looks absolutely scrumptious.